into a year of mega increase. Increase on all sides. That business is coming back to life. That marriage is coming back to life. Enemies. Your health you are stronger is coming back than to your life. You are stronger than that evil negative family background. All right, then it goes on to tell us. He said, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Don't forget that this class of men and women, this group of men and women, they have trusted God. They are waiting upon God. They are trusting God as the source of their life. Everything they need in life, whether it's spiritual, physical, whatever it is. They, they are looking up to God. Their eyes are upon God. Expecting God to be the one to deliver and to save. Hallelujah. They are calling upon the name of the Lord. And because of that, they have ceased to use their own strength. They are no longer using their own strength. They are now using the strength of God in everything. Hallelujah. The Bible says that these men and women, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The prophet asks the question. He said, if you faint in the day of adversity, he said, then your strength is lit you. If you faint in the day of adversity, then your strength is lit you. I want to listen very well. Strength is not measured in good times, but in bad times. I'm going to say that again. Strength is not measured in good times, but in bad times. So if you have somebody that has never gone through anything in life and you are going through issues, maybe you are going through issues in your life and you are looking at yourself, looking at that person, at this person who is, oh, he's very strong. Look at how things are just moving for him. No. He has not been tested. He has not been tested. And uh, your strength becomes lit you when you are depending on yourself. Hallelujah. Listen, everybody will be tested. We are told of the Lord Jesus, he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. The word learned there actually means to experience. He experienced what it is to be obedient. He experienced what it means to be obedient to the things of God, to God, to God's word, by the things which he suffered. And then when he was perfect, that is when he became matured in that obedience, he, he became the author of eternal salvation. So he could never have become the author of eternal salvation if he had not learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. And so that is why the prophet said that if you fail or faint in the day of adversity, then your strength is lit you. Your strength is lit you because you are depending on yourself instead of you depending on the power of God. You are looking at yourself. You are looking at your salary. You are looking at your monthly income. To carry out the project, you are looking at the size of your business or the, the size of your organization. 
to carry out the project. And because you are doing that, when the storms come, because storms will come, when the storms come, you don't have any strength because your strength cannot carry you through the storm. The only power that can carry you through the storm is the power of God. The only strength that can sustain you through the storm is the power of God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. And so, they that wait upon the Lord, they will change their strength, renew their strength. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and they will not faint. Because they have divine vigor and strength sustaining them. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ. It's not about me, Paul said. It is about Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.